Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It's Friday the 13th. Ooh, I'm so scared. How about you? No, we're not scared of a damn thing, you and me. So, yes, Friday the 13th, 2023. Uh, what is maybe scary to some, and I would not blame people for having a little bit of uh, fear here, uh, is... It appears, no surprise to you, no surprise to me, or anyone else who follows this blog, but we just found out yet again that loan defaults are on the rise. Home foreclosures are on the rise. Now, banks, let's just put a little perspective on what's going on here. Okay, uh, this is the beginning of a new earnings season. Bank earnings are starting to come in, and again, I don't think to anybody's surprise here, uh, Credit or debt losses by these institutions is, is, is going to pile up. The banks are in trouble. It, I, I don't care what a chart looks like. I don't care about anything else. These banks here are in trouble. Uh, now we got debt defaults on the rise. We got no no deposits, no loans, no deals. And, you know, and just look, this is on your back. Understand, these institutions are too big to fail. They're going to suck it right out of you. So just be be ready for it here. Uh, this is where it's going. This is where it's going to go. Uh, what has this guy been telling you since time immemorial, like forever, literally? Don't keep cash in these institutions that you don't need to have there. Yes, you pay your bills probably through your bank accounts or some other way. But So that that's all well and good. You need to have some cash in these institutions. I get it. But find somewhere else to park it, people. Uh, what would be a good place to keep your cash uh, under the mattress, maybe? Um, if you're a person that, you know, is uh, a little risk averse, you may want to own, a, own a, a large cap company here that pays, uh, that pays you a dividend here. Uh, but having your cash in these institutions that are clearly not doing well... Um, you know, with the FDIC, which isn't, you know, prepared at all for the bank runs, which they said is going to occur. You don't believe Greg Manorino? I posted a video about this uh, just the other day here, uh, and the FDIC says bank runs are going to happen. Let's let's put that into perspective. They are guaranteeing nine trillion dollars worth of assets with like a hundred. $25 billion? How does that work? How about it doesn't work? It's part of the illusion here. People feel secure. They feel warm and fuzzy all over, thinking that the FDIC's got their back. Oh, yeah. How about no? No one's got your back. We have each other's back. That's a fact, but that's about it. Hold on a minute. Anyway, so that's the situation with these, these banks, they're in a lot of trouble, meaning you are in a lot of trouble. There's just no doubt about it. Um, but again, what did we find out? What was it, last week? I think it was, maybe it was even this week that these the big major financial institutions, they're seeking a new lifeline directly to the Federal Reserve. Uh, they already have an unlimited uh, supply of, of, of cash via the central banks who are buying it all. Who's buying all this debt as of late people? Who's buying the debt? I mean, it's the biggest secret I think that no one's being allowed to know except you. Uh, central banks are buying it all. They're continuing to buy it all and they're not going to stop buying it all because that's how they're going to fulfill their end game. You know this. Anyway, so the kickoff here with earnings here, banks coming in uh, claiming substantial losses with regard to to credit, I love how they say this, or debt or loans. Okay, imagine my surprise here. Is this a, a repeat performance of what we witnessed last time here? A housing meltdown, foreclosures going through the roof here, people getting thrown out into the street? Yeah, how about, yeah. How about this really may be the opening salvos, but does that mean for a nanosecond that the stock market is going to crash or collapse? Uh, how about no yet again? Because here's the situation, people. I want you to stop thinking that anything matters right now besides what central banks are now doing uh, to the debt market. That means buying it all. If 
again, I'm going to cover this every freaking day. All right. If central banks manage to keep the global debt market stable, if central banks manage or the Federal Reserve manages to keep the relative strength of the dollar weak, I don't care what they want to throw at, at anything else. This market's going up. Okay. Right now, this morning, you got. 10-year yield relatively flat from yesterday, relative dollar strain slightly higher, the MMRI sitting at 220. Um, are we going to get a dip below 200 with regard to the MMRI? Nothing would surprise me, nothing at all, because here's how it's going to play out. Central banks are going to buy more. This is what I've been explaining for many, many months now. Towards the end of last year, watch my videos. When we were watching global bond yields rise as bonds were selling off, I was saying, no, this is going to turn around. It's going to turn around. Central banks aren't done. Central banks aren't done. And it certainly looks like I nailed that one to the wall. And you and I mean, this is look, this is basic stuff here. You don't got to be uh, Nostradamus to figure out what these institutions are going to do. They're going to prop this up until they've got everyone who they want to be dependent on the system, fully dependent on it, and they're not going to stop. So what, what does that mean? It means distortions across the spectrum of asset prices are going to continue to occur. Um, the, the price of commodities is going to probably remain exceedingly suppressed until we get that meltdown here in the debt market, because the, the environment is still, for the most part here, risk on. Why? Because like I said, nothing matters. Central banks, in my view, are going to continue to prop this whole thing up and hyper inflate the global debt bubble. You know this. You know this and you freaking know that. So the big news this morning is uh, what's happening here with the financial institutions here. Uh, loan defaults on the rise. I mean, this is a phenomenon we've been seeing for quite a while. And this is also something that you and I knew would happen too. From years ago, we we discussed right here how as this thing evolves here, the economy continues to contract at its fastest pace in history. Uh, as members of the middle class, prior members of the middle class are desperate to maintain the illusion of a middle class lifestyle borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. It's exactly what we're seeing. Everything that you and I covered years ago is happening right freaking here. Now, look, we're not always going to nail it. We're not always going to, you know, every single minute factor of this here. But on a macro picture, the macro picture here, you and I have been like, I mean, light years, light years ahead of the curve. And we're going to remain that way because we know what's going on. You got it? It's just simple, so simple here. So just going back to this market real quick. You got stock futures, at least at the time I am doing this video blog, trading didn't start for 38, I'm sorry, yeah, about 38 minutes. You got um, stock futures lower. You got relative strength of the dollar higher. And nothing else is really going on. It's, it's kind of, I don't know, like a, a nothing event here. But we're going to watch and see how this plays out moving forward. So I want to hear from you, as, as I always do. So the question of the day, I'm going to start doing this question of the day thing. How many of you believe that with regard to loan defaults, we're going to miraculously this, see this turn around? Or do you believe that people who are taking on debt burdens like they've never seen before are going to start defaulting in greater amounts moving forward? Me? I think it's a no-brainer here. Clearly, we are going to see people who are maxing out their credit cards and now getting credit limit increases without even asking for it are going to max out their credit cards even further. And what's this all about? Creating dependency on the system. You're going to see foreclosures. Absolutely. The real estate market is in dire shape right now. Okay. And, the, and because of that, again, going back to the financial institutions, they, 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 they got troubles. That means you have troubles. They're not going to be allowed to fail. You are. You and I, oh, we can fail. You see, we are expendable. You understand? I, I, I think you do. I, I really, really do. So what are you and I going to do about this, people? Look, we're not going to change. We're not going to deviate from anything here. You and I have the most solid plan moving forward. We're going to continue to bet against the debt, become our own central banks, hold these things in your hand, physical silver, oop, silver, <laughs> I'm looking at it backwards, Greg's favorite asset of all time, 
You all know that. Um, commodities moving forward, no doubt. That's where you need to be. You can get exposure to commodities via a, a, a whole bunch of ETFs, exchange-traded funds, some of which I have discussed here in the past. I just put out a, a, a list in my free newsletter, link in the description of this video. Um, but two weeks ago, check, check that out as well. Um, you want exposure to the market? I don't think it's a bad place to be right now. I really don't. Um, according to the MMRI, which I have full faith in, yeah, risk is dropping in this market. And as long as they can maintain that illusion, people, I'm going to tell you again, this is all an illusion. The illusion of stability in the debt market is all this market wants to see. Nothing else matters to the stock market anymore. It's managed. It's being run by central banks. And you all know that. Anyway, um, all right, so I covered a lot with you here. And as usual, I do want to hear your take on what I've spoken about. You know, look, look, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Greg, you know what? You have no idea what you're talking about. I don't see anything like you are. Or, Greg, I completely agree. I see this exactly the way you do because we're seeing things unfold as, I, as we said they would from years ago. It's in our freaking face. What can I tell you? All right, this guy loves you a lot. Friday the 13th notwithstanding, and uh, well, we're going to get together later, and it's going to be just freaking beautiful.